here. I want to bring you all an update on LTC BTC. And right now, guys, what I want to do, I want to put this on your radar. And first of all, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not going to rub the crystal ball for you, anything like that. I just want to put this stuff on your radar, show you the upside, the downside, and the sideways, and what potentially could happen. And what we're going to be doing here is looking at LTC, BTC on the three-day chart. And what I want to point out to you today is that we're at a cr critical support area, and we're also having a pattern take place, and we're going to see if this one ends up playing out. So if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you all being here with me today. Guys, right now it is August 21st, 2019. It's 3.20 p.m. Eastern Time. So I wanted to point that out. And also, guys, look for my link below to Robinhood. I've been using that a lot for even now a little bit of cryptocurrencies. I told you the last video I was more so just using them for stocks, but it has even been nice for crypto just due to the fact that there's no fees. And you know, guys, if you're wrong, then you can get out and you don't have a ton of fees to deal with either. So that's a really nice thing and you can get delve into some stocks and some different things so I'll leave that down below if you guys want to get involved with that appreciate you doing that so we'll dig into this and guys what I wanted to point out here first of all okay we've been down to this area and we've obviously had wicks very low before but take a look right where we're at right now we are at a critical level for Litecoin and I believe this critical area could get a nice little bounce out of it and what's happening at this critical area that we're at right now guys so basically right now our price is at seven thousand two hundred and eight right now Satoshi's and obviously guys that that's in hundreds of thousands but right now I'm just gonna break it down seven thousand two hundred and eight Satoshi's we're up three point two four percent right right now and guys the key area that I'd be looking at for a bounce and this is just my opinion here would be somewhere around this 6,851. I'm potentially going to have some bid orders right down in this area and what we're looking at along with that area is a potential falling wedge. Do you see these trend lines that we have right here guys and what I'm going to do I'm going to read out of the encyclopedia of chart patterns to us a falling wedge and we're going to see if it lines up together so that's what I'm going to get into right now so first of all guys the appearance of a falling wedge a downward price spiral bounded by two intersecting down sloping trend lines so that's exactly what we're having right here we have our two touches here and we actually have three touches here so that would qualify right there the performance rank for this is 20 out of 23 the break-even failure rate is 11 percent the average rise is 32 percent so say we are to break out from where we're at right now what we'll do is take our price range tool and say we're able to get out of this we go up about 30 percent or so and guys that could take us up to around that 9172 area so that would be a really good thing typically the volume trend is down so that's what we're dealing with as well. And remember on the three-day chart here, throwbacks happen 56% of the time. So that's if you have a breakout, sometimes you'll come back before you continue to move farther. Um, it continues to say, busted patterns perform well. Throwbacks hurt performance. Tall patterns perform better than short one. And wedges with random volume shapes do well. So that's something that you want to take a look at. And then, guys, it goes on to the characteristics. Two downsloping trend lines, so that's what we saw. Multiple touches, so this is important. Most formations have at least five touches, three along one side and two along the other. So we have two right here, and then here's our three. Three-week minimum. A falling wedge has a minimum duration of three weeks. Anything less is probably a pennant. Formations rarely exceed four months. So we'd start this pennant. Base, or I'm sorry, this falling wedge would have been in April. So all April, May, June, July, August. So right now we're kind of between that four, four and a half months. And that's something that we're going to have to keep our eye on, guys, that we are getting a little bit extended in that. Because remember, it said anywhere from about three weeks to four months is what we're looking at. And then volume trend, volume usually trends downward until the breakout. And you know, guys, this was just something I wanted to put on your radar because think about this. Look how far we have fell all the way from this area. So this was around 17,703. I'm sorry, let me get my price tool here for you. So our price range 
we have ended up dropping about 61%. So we are definitely due for some type of reaction. You can even saw, see where we fell hard over here, then we got some type of reaction. Really guys, we've just been falling down. We've had very small reactions. So I would be looking eventually to break out of here at some point. And the fact that this is taking place at this key support area of around that 6,851, that's a good thing in my opinion at least. And like I said, the breakout target could put us anywhere up around that three or I'm sorry 9,210 area which would be a good thing there but I do want you to pay attention in terms of moving averages guys in purple this moving average here this is our seven day EMA and right now we're pressing down that's over acting as overhead resistance so we would want to get up and over that that's going to be important that we start having candle closes above that and if you want to be more conservative you can start waiting for those type of candle closes then we have the 20 moving average which is in blue which is up above here guys and that's going to be around 9013 and then we're going to have our 100 moving average which is going to be in green right up here that's at 10,991 and then ultimately our 200 day which we need to get back up above which that's at 12,529 so these are some key areas for Litecoin right now if you just really step back here on the three day guys and take a look at this we're at key areas where we've gotten bounces before right down in this area around that 6,851 so between the support area the potential falling wedge some of the different things we're looking at for Litecoin right now it's not looking too bad for a long term hold now what we're going to do is go into a few indicators so looking at our Bollinger Bands we're very overextended to the downside here, guys. We're at the lower portion of the band, so that's a good thing there. And remember, we always want to accumulate more Bitcoin, so the fact that Litecoin may have a shot at gaining some Satoshis, that's a good thing overall for us. The next one I wanted to look at was our MACD. MACD has a potential bullish cross here. Our histogram's been turned into the positive, so that's a good thing. Next one's our stock. Stock RSI is at 5 and 6, so plenty of room to run to the upside, guys. We're very oversold there. And then let's do our RSI. And with our relative strength index, we're at 31 right now. So we're basically at that oversold territory. So you know, guys, when I'm looking at this, I'm just looking potentially for a long-term hold, something that really could do well and get a nice, strong bounce out of there. Because last time when we bounced off this key level, it was around December, and we went all the way up till about April before we started retracing again. So these moves can really take a long time to manifest and really happen. So... Guys, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And this here, this is what the Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns looks like. I mean, this book here, guys, is about a 1,000 pages. It's something that really helps me, and it just helps put it in perspective, you know, kind of get those target areas that you're looking for. So, guys, if you like this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're up 3.41% right now. We're at 7,215. God bless and take care.